now I just need to make a ton of chests, like so many chests. Maybe 47 will be enough, we'll find out. Turns out it was not enough, I still need more. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to the next episode of Kingdom Craft and today we are back here in the League of Vengeance base because we are going to be building some stuff for the base. So last episode I built the enchanting room and I put up this wall here. Things we need for the base and today I am going to be doing this one. I want to build a chest room. I'm also trying out some different shaders. I'm using the shaders that I have when I play Legacy SMP. Great series, by the way. If you don't watch it, please give it a shot. Very interesting. I'm really enjoying that series. And there's only four episodes, so what else are you going to do while you're stuck inside? So I've been busy and I've cleared out this space because this is sort of my plan for the chest room. We're going to have some chests up here and then you can go downstairs and there will be more chests down here. There was also some diamonds I wanted to get and there's some materials and such that I will be able to gather as I go. I've also just laid out where the chests are going to be with cobblestone, but I need to take out like all of this stuff. Now again, I'm not going to have it continue with marble. The marble is just going to be the halls, and then when it goes into the rooms, they will be different, similar to how this is all spruce. This will be a different type of wood. It will end up being spruce again because I really like spruce. Now I want to try for this floor. I've got a couple things I want to try. I want to try with slabs, and I also want to try with trapdoors. I'm thinking probably gonna be slabs, but trapdoors could be cute, you never know. I've only started like toying with material things like that since doing Legacy. Okay, I've made a bunch of slabs and I've made a bunch of trapdoors. Let's go and throw these in the floor and see what we think. Okay, so if we had this like so, that's kind of cool. Like I kind of like it. I think we're gonna do that, I've decided. People are probably sat at home like, oh God, no Scott, why? Now this was definitely the least resourceful option because it takes a lot more wood to do it. But I think it looks quite cool. I now just need to do, oh, I have stairs. I mean, I'm definitely gonna need more than this. But I just wanna make sure it looks good. Yeah, that looks good and you can still run down and back up. And as long as no one goes in and does that with them all, we'll be fine. Now I just need to also replace the floor in here. Okay, so that is the flooring done for that. I now need to do the walls and my plan for the walls is I'm going to do a layer of stone bricks like so and then I'm thinking maybe using white concrete like that because it's quite a small like shallow ceiling room so I need to make it look bigger which I'm hoping doing this will do so. It's like if you have a small room in your house in real life like Paint it light colours. Okay, that is the space cleared out. I now just need to go round and place the stone bricks. And then white concrete. I'm going to do the same type of flooring on the downstairs as well, so we will just get rid of this. The only bit I'm noticing that I'm going to have an issue with is going to be here because I wanted to just block off there but I might need to do it all the way down. I think I'm going to need to do it all the way down because otherwise it's not going to work. Oh my goodness that's my bedroom that's so funny how well I spaced this. Like if I'd paste this one back or something it wouldn't have worked. Okay, we're just filling in this bottom floor with white concrete. I might need to go and grab more. Yeah, I do. I've run out. Okay, we'll go and get more white concrete. And I'm also gonna need to make more trap doors because I've made it bigger now. That's fine, it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna make a bunch of trap doors. Like I don't need 42. I have 42, I definitely do not need 42. I don't think I'm actually gonna put any chests at the back here just because it's quite a narrow walkway. I'm 
just to get back, Callum is going to think that there is something under these trapdoors and we'll go around and open them all. The only bit that's annoying me of this is the fact that there's like a white bit here. But if I take away the white concrete, it then means from down here, it looks weird. The only other way I think I could do it would be... No, because I can't put any blocks here because of that. We're just going to need to deal with a white line, you know. I've also got some chests here, some chests there. Now I'm also going to need to do the roof in probably a slab just so that it opens or maybe stairs maybe i do upside down stairs i'm gonna need more spruce again i think this is gonna be my cobblestone chest just because i need rid of blocks okay let's dig out this ceiling and try something if i do stairs like this all the way around I can open that, right? I can. Okay, perfect. And then I'll just dig out this. And then what if I do spruce wood, but then I strip it? Oh, that looks cute. Oh, wait, I've thought of a better idea. I'm going to do that. I will then obviously strip all of this. And then in the middle, I can put some glowstone just to add some extra light. Let's go down and grab that. This is also why I wanted a chest room because my chests are getting bad. And then I also want to, in these bits, put glowstone. I think it will look very cute and adds light. Oh, look at this, this is so adorable. I'm gonna replace this little bit with some birch. And I also need to make another couple of stairs just to finish off the back and now i just need to make a ton of chests like so many chests maybe 47 will be enough we'll find out turns out it was not enough i still need more okay now we're done and then i think what i might do to use some of the slabs is just do slabs underneath the floating chests just so they're not floating anymore. There we go. And I think what we might do is, I know I put those in there, but I think I'll probably keep blocks on the top level, actually. So like, this will be woods, this will be stones, this will be concrete, this will be other blocks. And then anything else, I can like come down here and be like, this can be lapis, this can be redstone, that can be coal. That can be diamonds. You know, we can just do it that way. Or actually, wait a minute, it can be extra. This can be spruce wood wall. That can be birch. I can do like all different types of wood. That can be glass. Look at me, I am using things. This can be nether blocks, which I mean quartz would fall into. This can be crafted things, so there are blocks. There's plenty to do to make it work. I also do need more birch wood just to finish the roof up there. Do I have any? I don't, but I have a load of random stuff, which I will gladly put up into that chest room. We'll do iron there, and then crafted blocks is going to be this one for bookshelves. Crafted items, I will put down here. We'll do sugarcane there, mob drops there. We wanted diamonds, so I'll put them in here. That'll be non-hostile mob drops, and this can be hostile mob drops. That can be plants. Look, I am an organizing god. I bet you you're all so impressed by my organization skills right now. I know it's probably been bothering you all that my chests weren't organized in my last base. Well, I'll have you know I'm making the most of it now. Let's do wool in this chest. I am going to put item frames, by the way, guys. I will put item frames in an attempt to make this a little bit more organized. Do not worry. My hope is that if I make it organized enough, Callum won't be able to mess it up by putting random stuff elsewhere. <laughs> and we'll also know to follow along. I can also come over here now and get rid of that chest room sign. I will just put up a blank sign, but the chest room is done. Okay, we will pop down item frames on all of these. I mean, some of them are gonna be empty at the moment just because I do not have enough stuff to start putting in them. And I think that's pretty much everything I have in here at the moment. But look, we have this. I just need to go and grab some more birch from spawn very very quickly just to fill in the ceiling and then we are done with this oh wait i need one more item frame i'm gonna pop an item frame there with a little 
chest then up. There we go, chest room is done. We have an enchanting room and a chest room. And it looks really cool. I like the fact that I am experimenting with different styles of building and different blocks in the base. I think it looks really cool to kind of have each segment have its own style and I'm happy with it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Kingdom Craft. If you did, remember to leave a like. Comment down below and let me know what you thought of the chest room. Do you like the block palette? Do you like where I use slabs and use trapdoors as the flooring? Let me know what other things I need to add to the base what should be my priority. Remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you do not miss a video and I will see you all next time. Bye!